Hello, this is Cindy and welcome to Fun Fold Friday today. Fun Fold Fabulous Friday. So today we're going to be taking a look at what I'm referring to as a Regency fold. This is actually a very simple piece. Um, I have my idea book here, or at least the pieces of it, and it's very, very simple. So I know we'll talk about the string holding it together in a minute. You simply open it up. It comes loose out of your journal. And it's really this very, very cool Regency piece. So this was, this kind of a fold actually comes from the Regency period when letters were sent back and forth, but envelopes didn't exist as a separate entity, at least not a lot of them. And so you would write your letter and then you would fold it up and you could put the address on the one side. And a lot of times this was sealed with a, a, a stamp, a, a wax stamp. I don't have a wax stamp and I decided I didn't want to seal it that way anyway because once you break the stamp, you can't close it back up again. Whereas this way you can open it and close it as many times as you'd like. So let's take a look at how to put this together. To start with, you're going to need, and I have two pieces here because we'll make this twice. I'm going to mass make a bunch of these. Um, you're going to need an eight and a half uh, by 11 sheet of paper. This would probably also work with a four paper. I don't see why it wouldn't. In fact, it should. Probably, it should. Um, and the thickness, this is actually stationary paper. It's a, a very lightweight piece of stationary fine it's fine paper um it does not have a watermark on it but it feels like it should it is uh you could also do this with computer paper um or a light really really lightweight printed paper i just what you don't want is cardstock this is not a cardstock fold this is definitely a paper fold so you're going to need that you're going to need some rounds for for your closure here I use, am using a three-quarter inch hole punch to make my rounds. And this is, this, you do want a heavier cardstock. This is from a piece of junk mail. And all I'm doing is cutting myself some holes out of it. Making myself some circles. You really, if you're only making one of these, you only need two of, of the holes, but I'm, I've got a bunch here now. Okay. And I, I, I only have the three quarter inch and I have a one and a half. The one and a half is way too big. You might be able to do this with a one inch or a half inch, but I have the three quarter inch because that's what I have. And then a piece of Baker's twine. Uh, I'm using Baker's twine. There's no reason you couldn't use embroidery floss or just regular twine um, string of any sort to hold it together. And that's it. That's the three things that you need. You don't need glue if you don't want glue. You can use, well, you know, you are going to need glue because you have to put these on. So I have my Fabri-Tac to do this with because I don't think a glue stick would hold. I think you want something stronger than a glue stick. So Fabri-Tac or Art Glitter Glue or whatever you're using that's a really strong glue. So the first thing you're going to do in creating the fold is fold your paper in half. And I'm not making a strong crease because it's not important whether you do or don't. Then you're going to fold in towards the crease. So there's my crease. I'm really just, the crease is there. To, and it doesn't, you could fold right up to it. It doesn't matter. Because you're done with that crease. And then you're going to fold that side in. So you've, you've folded your paper in half, and then you folded it in and in. And then you're going to fold up about mm, maybe two-thirds of the way. And then you're going to fold your flap down. And that's it. Your folding is done. That's how simple this is. Let me go through it one more time to show you quick how easy how easy that was. So you have your eight and a half by eleven. You fold it in half. Give it a light crease. 
Then you're going to open it up. You fold your end in to the crease. You fold your other end in to the crease. You fold up halfway. Then you fold the top down. And your folding is done. This is so simple. Okay, so now we're going to put the closures on. And I've learned the hard way. It's easier to put your closure on the top flap first. So I'm going to, and you only want to put glue on like the top third. Don't put a lot of glue on there and get yourself stuck. So I'm going to put my glue on the top third and I'm going to set it down. I'm going to hold it for a second, make sure that it's set and grab my bottom closure. And I want it to overlap just a little bit. Okay, I've just got a little bit of a little bit of smush coming out there. Okay, so I want this to cover over that just a little bit. And I'm looking at my design and how I want my designs to go. I have two lines. I think I want them to kind of sort of work together. And on this one, I'm going to put it again about the bottom third. <clears throat> Just a little bit of glue on the bottom third. Okay, so I ended up <clears throat> orienting it completely differently, but that's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm holding my piece down and I think we're set. And now I could take my twine. Um, this is, I think, 18 inches. Yeah, it's just, I t this is almost 19 inches. It's 18 and a half ish. You're just, that's for the size that I'm using. You can use really any size that you want. And then now, let me stop you there. At this point, I could just stick it in a pocket. It does not need to be uh, t tied up. I can just grab a pocket here. I'll talk about that string in a minute. And I can just slide it into the pocket like that. Done. I can leave it just like that. Um, or I can tie it shut. And of course, you guys know me and my ties. I'm not that great a tire, but we'll... I'll do what I can here. Back to kindergarten I go. Being able to tie my shoe. I think it's easier to tie a shoe because it doesn't move on you. This is constantly moving. Okay, so now I've tied it shut. But what I did with my journal here, you'll see that I have a cross. You don't need the cross don't need the cross. You don't need this top one. My thought when I was first putting it in was that I was going to tie it both ways. I didn't like it. It ended up just being messy. But what I like, I glued it down, glued my string down to the page, and now I can tie my missive right to the page. And see, it doesn't fall out, doesn't slide out, doesn't slide out either way. It stays put exactly where it's supposed to be. And if I want to write on it, I just simply untie it, open it up. I can take it, I can go right on it, do whatever I want, bring it back, close it back up, and retie it into my journal. Isn't that clever? It's so easy. And this fold... This Regency fold is a very, very easy fold. I'm going to go through it one more time. So if you didn't catch it, you'll be able to. Let me set that aside. I also have two others that I have done. I've been making these this morning. All right. My eight and a half by 11 sheet. <clears throat> I'm going to fold it in half. Make a crease that I don't really care about because it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then I'm going to fold up here. And I'm going to bring this end in and I'm going to fold it back towards the center again. What you don't want to do is overlap. 
You just want them to come together in the middle. I'm going to come up about two thirds, fold it, and then I'm going to bring my flap down and fold it. Now, to be honest, you could stop here. You don't need to put a closure on it. You could just make that fun fold and then stick it in a pocket. Ah, uh, where'd my pockets go? Oh, they're there. You could just stick it in the pocket just that way. Poof, done. You folded your paper up. It's a fancy fold. You can write on it. You can do your thing. You're done. So you don't have to do the closures. Just want to let you know that you don't have to do the closures. I am, at this point, if you wanted to put your, make it live, live lay a little flatter in your uh, journal, you could do that. Again, you're going to take your closure and you're going to put just a little bit of glue on the very top of it and attach it. Hold it for a second while you're getting it to attach. And then you're going to take a little bit of glue and you're going to put it again just on the bottom third. Don't need a lot. And you're going to attach it. Now this one I folded down a little bit further. It has a bigger top piece that I folded down. So I'm very close to my end. So watch out when you're doing that. Um, this one is a lot narrower. This one, this one, they're all pretty narrow. So that's a better way, way to think about it. Because when you fold it too far, you got to be real careful. You're going to be close to your end. All right. I have a piece of twine here. I'm going to cut at uh, just a little over 18 inches. And I'm going to tie it up. Maybe. There we go. And there we go. So there we go. Fun fold. Fabulous Friday. You can attach it right to your journal. Tie your, glue your string right down to the journal. And then you can put it right in here. You can tuck it into a pocket. You can do just about anything you want. You can put the closure on. Don't put the closure on. Put the string on. Don't put the string on. Lots and lots of options with this particular Regency fold. Okay, if you are enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you liked it. And I will... Oh, if you want to notifications as to when the next one is coming out, please make sure you click the bell because that's what will let you know that there are notifications. Uh, uh, you'll get a notification the next time I post a video. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Have a great weekend coming up. Until later, this is Cindy signing off.